Guys, welcome back to the channel for a very special video, another match day vlog, the visit of Brentford of the Premier League at Rodney Parade in the second round of the Carabao Cup. Now, normally I you know, don't really read much into this competition, it's normally the FA Cup that the full priority takes control in. Um, and obviously, you know, Saturday is a huge game against AFC Wimbledon in the league at Rodney Parade, but you know, it's something special about a cup game at Rodney Parade, especially under the lights, especially against, you know, a, a Premier League team. They're going to bring, you know, quite a few fans or quite a lot of fans. They're going to bring a strong team as well. In terms of my prediction, I hate to be negative, but I do think we're going to lose this 1-2-1, one, one, a close game. If you do enjoy the vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Brentford fans, hope you enjoy this vlog as well. We'll catch up with Luke, get his prediction and thoughts, and then we'll get the lineups. Come on the port. Johnson. Brentford at home, Premier League side in the Carabao Cup. What's your thoughts? Tough game, isn't it? Like, I don't think anyone's going to expect us to win, especially against a Brentford side, which uh, quality. And though with the manager they got, he's also quality as well. Yeah, obviously Saturday was a huge win. You wasn't at the game, but you know it's a, it a massive win. You know we stopped the rot of win lose, win lose, win lose. Two wins on the bounce in the league. A big game on Saturday. Does the attention sort of turn towards Saturday, knowing how big that is already in the season? I think being we've been so good in the league, I don't really blame the manager for, you know, uh, weakening the side a bit. Yeah. You know, we normally when we have a cup game, we go on to lose on the weekend. Yeah. So I think he's smart with the way he's set the team up. Yeah, because we don't want all the all the you know tension going into this and then failing on Saturday. What's your score prediction for this evening? I've, I've actually gone for two one Newport. Two one Newport. Two one scores. Omar Bogle and Matty Bondswell. For Brentford, who cares? But who cares? Yeah. Up the county. Up the Lineups are out. It's Johnny Max in goals. Sebri Clark, Delaney Lewis, Charlie Morris, Wildig, Waite, Bogle, Matty Bondswell. So a heavily rotated team from Graham Cotland, Townsend, Payne, Drysdale, McGoughlin, Bennett, Rye, Wood, and Holden on the bench. In terms of Brentford, they've gone with Balcom in goals. Ruslev, Ayer, Ben Mee, Zanka with a midfield of Yanel, Onyeka, Yamaluk with Shade, Lewis Potter, and Olakibe. Players on the bench for Thomas Frank's side, Flecken, Hickey, Collins, Kim, Jensen, Brearley, Wissa and Buemu and Atta Cullen is a very, very strong team and bench from Brentford. Come on a port, let's get to the kickoff. Come on. And they've you know dominated possession on something like 70 odd percent possession, been far by the better team and with the ball when we get the ball we have the piece of it's gonna be interesting to see what the second half maybe bring Sam Palmer holding on. But you know even Josh Sebri's defended well against their wingers. Interesting second half. Come on.
Adam. Yeah. Ryan and Boimu against Johnny Maxson. Smash it. Time at Rodney Parade. It's finished. Newport won. Brentford won in the Carabao Cup second round. Defeat on penalties. 3 0. Lighting is terrible as I'm walking out of the ground. But in terms of that performance, I mean, look, we've played very well. We've held a Premier League side and a good Premier League side at that to a 1 1 draw. And, you know, the penalties, yeah, if you want to slate players for missing a penalty, be my guess. But, you know, all three of them, Adam Lewis, Okay, uh, Nathan Wood and I can't remember who else um, took the other penalty, you know, you can't really slight someone for taking a penalty, it's lock of the draw if you score or miss you know, it's not the end of the world I know obviously the players will get frustrated with themselves, and I know the fans are obviously massively frustrated with the players, but, you know, the way I look at it, we held a good Premier League side for 90 minutes, they, you know scored to make it 1-0, we get back into the game Kim and Ryan, massive shout out to him by the way um, and then we just lose in Obviously, in not the best of fashion, you know, not you know, not, not the best of ways to lose on penalties, three 0 But it is what it is. Saturday's a massive game now against Wimbledon. The you know distraction was this game. We've got past this game, and now obviously we look um, ahead to Saturday. Please make sure to smash a like on the video if I've enjoyed this match day vlog. Like, share, and subscribe as always. I'll see you in the next one. Up the county.